Titled Heat Waves and Heavy Snow. Some think weather occurs at random as if God spins a roulette wheel and throws an imaginary dice. Those who claim that weather is the function of chaos or bad luck may simply have not done enough study into the nature of cycles and the cycle of nature. Something is only a mystery to one who has not yet realised a secret, whether a magic trick, mathematical formula or the undiscovered workings of a scientific process. There should not be too much surprise at Northern Hemisphere summer heat waves because we warned of them in our island almanac for 2013. We suggested heat waves could be widespread in Canada, USA, France, Italy, UK and Ireland between June and August. In the New Zealand almanac we called for icy wintry blasts south of the central plateau that could break cold temperature records. Some Australian states like South Australia are also likely to succumb. At first glance there should be no connection between severe cold and severe heat, the two hemispheres being on opposite sides of the globe. But the current severity of summers and winters is no coincidence. What causes one also causes the other according to lunar weather science. To understand this we need to revisit what causes weather. There is a tide in the atmosphere, whereby the air varies in height daily according to the position of the moon. There are two things trying to get through our insulating air barrier, heat from the sun during daylight hours and the cold from space at night. The varying height of the air allows more or less of either of those. We can map the air tide pattern and then extrapolate forward asking what factors would vary the air tide the most much as we can ask what varies the height of the sea. When we have worked out the timing of main variables, we can calculate forward for seasons in the future. Then we can predict which months of which years the air tide might be susceptible to increased heat coming through to the ground for summer, or when more heat is likely to be lost in winter. One moon cycle is the daily one we observe when the moon appears to come up and over us, rising on the horizon, reaching a highest point, then setting below the horizon. This repeating 48 minutes later the following day. This is an illusion because the moon is not really going around us. The whole earth is rotating under the moon once every 24 hours. We also notice the moon changes its shape from one day to the next as it works its way through the sky, orbiting planet Earth once a month. This is another illusion as it is always spherical and only changes its angle to the sun as seen from Earth. So we are turning under the moon daily and it is going around us monthly. The moon is not equidistant from Earth at all times in the month. This distance varies over 27 days. There is a closest distance day called perigee and 14 days later a furthest away day called apogee. Not all perigees are created equal. Some are closer than others and over a season averagely closer than during other seasons. Closer perigees may span a summer, spring, autumn or winter and may span both a summer and the following winter. The effects of perigees are to exaggerate seasonal temperatures because they magnify the air tide. Closer perigees always bring more extreme weather. Winters are colder and summers hotter due to the closeness of perigees about every four years. But there is still more. Orbiting Earth once a month, the Moon also slowly drifts 20 degrees off Earth's latitude north of the equator, then 13 days later, 20 degrees south of the equator. This is called declination and is also a 27 day turnaround. We call moon further south southern declination. Southern declination days June to August give warmth to the northern hemisphere and can bring polar blasts to the southern.